to get to this point, six qualifying tournaments take us to the Force Wood Cup, the championship of bass fishing. All the stars are here, the biggest names in the sport, and the grand prize, $500,000. bad guy to be following. <laughs> so pretty much right after I won Chickamauga, I flew out to Las Vegas uh, for ICAST, which is a trade show for uh, the lure, pretty much anything in the fishing business. So I went from there, I came back, went straight to uh, up north to Canada to visit my brother, sister, and my father, and uh, just had a good time. Fishing ever started up there on the uh, Detroit River, just trying to learn how to uh, catch smallmouth up north. And then pretty much from there, came straight here, had two days in between to get stuff ready. And tough practice, real tough practice, but it's been tough for everybody. Uh, I think a few guys are gonna be around some fish, but I think everybody else is just gonna have to grind it out. And uh, you know, my goal is to try and make at least the first cut, hopefully the second cut, and uh, don't have any great expectations, but you never know. On this lake, things change so fast, it can, it can happen. So it'll take a miracle, but you know, I don't think I'd have 100 pounds of chicken mug either. The Red River is the host of the 2013 Forest Wood Cup. The anglers take off in Pool 5 in an area known as Port Lake. You can stay in Pool 5 or you can run down, lock down and fish Pool 4. And if you're really crazy, you can even go one lock further and fish Pool 3, but that would give you very little fishing time. Overall, the Red River is an endless maze of backwaters, stump fields, lily pads. There's no shortage of structure. There is a shortage of huge fish. It's got plenty of bass in it, but the giants are hard to come by. Any snakes? A lot of snakes. Oh yeah, there's tons. I mean, I probably saw 30, and they come out of nowhere. One of the downfalls of the Red River is that it's infested with snakes, some of which are poisonous, like a water moccasin. A snake literally could slither up, and they'll even try and go in your boat. These snakes are not shy, and there's way too many of them. I'm dead serious. They come up in the middle of the river and they just put their head up and look. It's like, where the heck did that come from? I'm in 25 feet of water. I hate snakes. So I was like, uh. All right, all you anglers, raise your hands. All of you that are fishing tomorrow. Force Wood Cup is the best of the best. And for Casey to qualify in his rookie season, that's quite an accomplishment. Now, which one of you is going to win? <laughs> I should have seen any hands go down. I don't think he has huge expectations for the cup, is that no matter what, even if he gets last, he wins $10,000. But he's kind of in this mode where he's a little bit starstruck. This is the most prestigious tournament in bass fishing. Yeah, hopefully I don't get snake bit out there. <laughs> Net, this is a good one, I think. This, if this is a bass, I think this is a big, you know, two or three pounder. Oh, am I hung up? Oh man, did he hang me up? Oh God. Day one of the Forcewood Cup starts. And I'm 95% sure that was a fish. I mean, it was pulling. Then all of a sudden, it just stopped. And a lot of guys are trying to pick off the low-hanging fruit. I mean, we're in like 16 feet of water, too. How the heck does he hang up down there? Right outside the mouth of Port Lake, where it meets the main river channel, there's a lot of guys fishing. <sighs> Who does Casey see yet again? Mark Rose and JT Kenny. They're not quite as bunched up as they were at Chickamauga, but it's the same two guys yet again. And while they kind of move around, 
Casey stays on one spot for pretty much the entire day. He could have ran his day on electric power only, no gasoline necessary. Will, <laughs> what do you got, Casey? Yeah. I got three. Cool. Anything with size? Not really. Was well, this your big fish spot or is this the mega school? This is both. Okay. This is the only only spot. <laughs> this is the five hundred thousand dollars spot. Got any one liners today, Brett, or what? I'm trying to be serious now. It's a fourth cup. Oh my God, Casey like never left. He just, he literally went right outside Port Lake and never left. Thorpe whacked him, huh? Uh, and Thorpe. One pound over, or one, over one, ounce. No, one ounce over. Yeah. I got seven pounds maybe. Seven pounds? Yeah. Times two? <laughs> I mean, hopefully if I get seven again tomorrow. <laughs> I wonder if we should just order like pizza to the house or something. And then make some little pizza and salad or something. Unless you want to cook your specialty. What's that? That's a good question. <laughs> Still working on that. Everything I made? <laughs> right. Casey, you like this? See what I got to put up with. What, lots of love? You got to put up with? Yeah, call it love. Craziness. Wow. Well, <laughs> tomato tomato. <laughs> what you call love, the law calls stocking. <laughs> One of the hottest rookies in 2013. He's qualified for his second Forestwood Cup. From New Market, Alabama, Casey Martin. What a great year this rookie said. Casey Martin, let's get you weighed in. A five bass limit on day one. Nine pounds and 15 ounces. Casey, you're in pretty good shape. You're in 20th place. And I heard that you said that, man, I'm, I'm sitting on a, on a half a million dollar worth of fish right in this little area right here. Yeah, I was just joking with uh, Brett Carlson. I never in a million years thought I'd be fishing professionally and never in the Forestwood Cup. And, you know, I've been blessed along the way, and i got to thank a lot of people. Uh, my friends and family back in Canada, uh, my girlfriend's here. She's my biggest supporter. And just FLW, I mean, this is the only circuit where you can learn behind guys like Jason Christie, behind David Dudley, behind Randall Tharp. And that's how I learned. And, you know, I still got a lot of learning to do, but uh, I'm, I'm sure there's somebody out there watching on FLW Live that wants to be a professional fisherman. And the only way to do it is to start off as a co-angler uh, with the FLW Tour. Justin Lucas, Scott Martin, and all those guys started off as co-anglers and myself now uh, making the Forest Wood Cup. So uh, I got to thank FLW for sure. We appreciate that. You know, we set this thing up. You, you guys make it the greatest show on earth. A great year and a good start on day one for Casey Martin. We'll see you right back on the stage tomorrow, Casey. I think we get knocked out of the top 20. You know, when I weighed in, I had about four guys left, and I think maybe Jay Yellis or somebody knocked me out. But, uh, you know, nine pounds, 15 ounces is not great, but, you know, I'm about a little bit above half the field in the Forest Wood Cup as a professional. So it's not like it's, uh, you know, just an average club tournament or anything like that. It's the best in the world. Brian Thrift and Randall Tharp catch unthinkable 18 pound limits on day one. Nobody thought those weights could be achieved on the Red River in the middle of August. And it looks like it's a two horse race as of now. Casey is in 22nd place, right in the middle of the pack, caught a decent limit, but the question is, can he catch him better and make that top 20 cut tomorrow? The Red River doesn't really suit me that well, and I, I was just trying to hang on here and try to try my best. And uh, you know, I, I did okay today. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it tomorrow. It was a struggle out there for most of the day. But seeing all those guys in line, it was kind of you know, I was kind of starstruck. I mean, all, you know, a year ago I was fishing, you know, in Atlanta at the Forestwood Cup as a co-angler, and I, even then, you know, I didn't even know uh, that I was gonna fish professionally. To actually make the cup as a professional with how hard it is. And, you know, there's a lot of guys that were sitting at home that were great anglers that didn't make it. And, you know, I've just been fortunate, you know, to have a, a pretty decent season. Do you think it's any coincidence that the two guys that sold me their last boat are first and second in the Forest Wood Cup? Do you think that's any coincidence? 2011, I bought Tharp 2011 boat, and this is Thrift 2012 boat. I got 99 problems, and the fish is one right now. <laughs> I don't want to blank today.
Go along stage with one. Ever since Lake Eufaula, the last time Casey didn't get a five bass limit, Casey and Travis, the director of Circuit Breaker, have kind of had this little side bet where if Casey doesn't get a limit, <laughs> hey, he's gonna film me filming. <laughs> There's Matt. There we go. Living the dream. If you're only gonna bring back four fish, this is what happens. Coming to the stage. His rookie season coming to the Forestwood Cup. He's got his own reality show, and he's carrying the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, from New Hope, Alabama, you guys welcome Casey Martin. What in the world is going on? <laughs> How much did he pay you to do that? <laughs> no, he lost the bet, so if he didn't make a limit today, he had to film me coming up on stage for a change. That's hilarious. Part of the uh, production team for Circuit Breaker. Uh, that <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go. Casey Martin from New Hope, Alabama, who caught over 100 pounds on Lake Chickamauga to win the final FLW Tour event of the season just a month ago. Had a good start on day one, Casey, nine pounds and 15 ounces. He weighs in four more today. That'll go four pounds and seven ounces. And Casey, that has you right now in fourth place with 14.6. Um, I know it's not the bag that you wanted, but so far the bite was tougher on day two. Yeah, I, uh, I lost a bunch of fish today. I jumped a few off and broke a couple. And that's why I actually uh, was filming him because I said his job looks a lot easier than mine out there today. So, and it was actually a lot easier, believe it or not. It was a success, you know. Obviously you win a tour event your first year and you make the force with Cub. I mean, it's just, I gotta be consistent. Like I, I just don't know when to hold them and when to fold them, you know, that's the, that's the biggest thing. You know when to walk away. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kenny Rogers over here, whoever sings that, I don't even know. It's Kenny Rogers. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so this is where we're staying here in uh, Shreveport, Forestwood Cup at Lake Chickamauga. It was at the Dirty White Boy. He went an event and now this is where you stay. It's like MTV Crib, you know? So actually, this is a, uh, a friend of mine's dad's place. He has been kind of involved in the tournament. He likes to fish a little bit. We have all the uh, stuffed animals and stuffed turtles. I think we have a snapping turtle under here. I think underneath the Brian Thrift, the Mickey Rock Glove, we have a raccoon. So yeah, we're just using this as a tackle room and uh, it's kind of been storage. Some type of squirrel here. We got a catfish right here, and then we got, I don't know what this is. You know what this is, Lindsay? That's uh, a rodent. I don't know, maybe a chubby cobber. I maybe we'll ask Spiro about that one. This is kind of how we spent our off day cooling down, because it was 101, 102 degrees during practice. During the off day, we'd come back and we'd play, uh, you know, with our super soakers. <laughs> Luckily, the, yeah, these are, yeah, for when I get in the water. I'm a little small, but. <laughs> so, no, that's, uh, Brian Thrift's actually staying with us, and that's actually his uh, water wings. But he's about to win 500,000, so, you know, joke's on us. <laughs> and then, let's see, back into the kitchen. We got the laundry room, not much happens there. We haven't done a whole lot of laundry. Yeah, we haven't, exactly. We got a, uh, hopefully it's not a live grenade. Oh crap, the pin just fell out. Oh no, that would have been bad. Can you imagine you got that on camera? That would have been good. Where's the pin go back in? Boom, that just happened. Just kidding. <laughs> That's how it ends. That's the end of the circuit breaker. Everybody dies. Goes to the black screen. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. You can do whatever you want as long as you apologize immediately afterwards. What's going on? What's going on, Thurif? There's the leader. Congrats. One, one day away from $500,000. Tharp led on days one and two, but Thrift took the lead on day three, 
Heading into the final day of the Forcewood Cup, Thrift has a four ounce lead. comes to shallow water, the honey badger can't be beat. My goal next year is to at least weigh a limit in every event every day. I think that's the guys that are the most consistent. They go out, they catch a limit every day, and then try and catch some big ones. Good job, man, baby. Thank Let's you, man. See you back up there, man. You did it, man. You deserve it. You worked hard. It'll be, uh, it'll be nice just having some time to relax, for sure. You know, the season's over. It didn't end the way I wanted it to at the Cup, but, you know, it can kind of take a little bit of a deep breath now and just kind of just enjoy the fall and you know fish for a little bit more for fun and some tournaments here and there. So it's a, it's a little bit of a stress relief right now. And then we got David Dudley here. David, where'd you? You're not fishing today? What happened? Go ahead. What? And pull the knife out of my oh, back. Why, why you want to stab me like that? Why aren't you underwater? You never. You always fish Sunday. Oh, but oh, but, here we go. Hey, where's your name? Oh, oh, oh where's oh. your name? Oh, no, no, no. Are you going to say me not fishing there? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Best okay. in the world right hey, here, but he, he will be there one day. Mark my word. He, his name will be on there one day. The neat thing about following Casey around all year is you get a chance to see what it's actually like to be a pro. Not just the weigh-in, not just the grip and grin photos. I mean, it's professional bass fishing at its core. It's real. It's raw. Sometimes it's, it's real raw.